Welcome to Coding with Nivesh. This is Nivesh. In this short tutorial session, we will install Clasp. After this, you will be able to code locally your app script project in your favorite IDE. You will be able to create a new project remotely. You will also be able to clone the project that have already been created in your cloud IDE. Moreover, you will also be able to push new changes that you made inside of your local directory into the cloud project. After that, we will also look into the ClassPignore file which will help us filter out what we will be pushing into our cloud project and what will stay on our remote directory. I hope you'll find this tutorial insightful. So let's get started. To install Clasp, you can just Google search npm install Clasp and you can then click on the first link that appears in the Google search. After that, we will go to the section where we can get the code to install this using npm. If you're using Linux or Mac like me, I'm using Linux, then you're going to have to add sudo command before npm install. If you're using Windows, then you don't have to do anything. You can just copy paste the code as it is. Now we can check if the installation was done properly by checking the version of the class we just installed with clasp space dash v. My version which was installed is 2.4.2. Now that the installation is done, we're going to have to enable AppScript API from user setting in our app script home by clicking this link mine is already enabled if you have it turned off then you're gonna have to turn it on with this done we will now log in in the class using class space login this will open up the new window in the browser we are currently using we will just follow the UI flow. We're going to have to grant permission to Clasp. After that, you will be logged in. As you can see, authorization is successful and the credentials have been saved in our home folder in ClaspRC.json file. Next, we will create a new project from Terminal. To do so, we're going to have to first, let's go to a folder where we want to create our Google Apps Script project. For me, it's in desktop and then Google Apps Script and then I will create a new folder named experiment. After this, let's get inside of that experiment directory. With this, we will now create a new project with class space create. When you hit enter, you will be provided different options from which you can select any one of them. Either you want to create a standalone script project or you want to create a bound app script which is bound to a particular seats, docs, slides, etc. We will select seats. What happens here is the class will create a new spreadsheet because we didn't provide any ID of the existing spreadsheet. And with the same name as the folder named experiments, and it will also create a new app script file named experiment, and it will be a bound script which is attached to the spreadsheet it just created. Let's click the link and as you can see the experiment file has been created and let's click, click the link for this script and it will load us the script file with the name experiment. Now that's done we will now try cloning project. For this tutorial's sake I'm going to clone the project which we just created. You can try pulling the project but I'm just going to show it how the clone can be done and what is an issue we can face while cloning the project. We're going to clone the project using script ID. But first let's make some changes in the script so that we can be certain that we cloned accurately. I'm just going to create a simple sum function. It is just going to return the sum of 1 plus 1. Let's now get the project ID from project settings. There you can see the script ID. Let's just copy it. Now let us clone the project with the class space clone space the script ID inside the codes and then provide the root directory with double hyphen and root dir and then the name of the folder which is the current folder. So we will just give a period or a dot like this and hit the enter and as you can see it didn't work. It says the file clasp.json already exists. 
What is saying here is that when we are cloning a folder or a project from app script, if the class.json file already exists in this folder, then we cannot clone it. If you want to clone a app script project, then you will have to first delete the class.json file or you're going to have to clone it in different folder where the class.json file doesn't exist. Let us open our project in the VS code. As you can see, class.json file already exists. Let us delete that. Now we'll try cloning again. And this time it's successful. As you can see, there's a code.js file with the function we just created. With this done, now we will push the changes we're going to make in a moment in the local directory inside the VS Code into the AppScript Cloud project. But first, let's make minor change in the sum function we created a moment ago. Okay, now we will push the project with clasp space push space dash capital P space dot. We are telling the clasp to push everything in the current directory. If you are not inside the current directory, then you're going to have to provide the location of the directory properly. By the way, guys, one thing to remember here is that unlike we push something in Git, where the GitHub knows that we are only pushing the current files, which has been changed, the clasp has not been programmed to identify such changes. And if we push only a certain file, then we will actually re replace all the other existing files and folders inside our cloud project with the current file. So always make sure to push everything in the current directory like I did instead of pushing just one file. Okay, let's move on. Let's refresh the page to see if the push actually worked. As you can see, the code we changed are being displayed here. Now for the last part, we will also check out the class ignore file, which is similar to git ignore. It ignores any file that starts with dot as well as any files that have been marked by providing the file name inside the class ignore file. For the tutorial's purpose, we're going to create a new file named readme.md. So we're going to ignore it by adding its name inside of class ignore and save the file. Then we will create the readmd and then just write a small introduction. With this, now we will push the changes into the clasp again to see if the clasp ignore is working or not. As you can see, it didn't push the readmd file, but just to make sure, let's go to the app script project and refresh it again. Now we will check the status of the project with clasp space status. And it also says that it has ignored three files, clasp.json, claspignore, and readme.md. If you want to read more about clasp and how to use it, check out the documentation. Maybe you can find something interesting there. That's it for today. I hope now you can run clasp and then code your app script project locally in your favorite IDE. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're already not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel as well. I'll be releasing new videos twice every month so that you won't miss out. Thank you for watching again.